uh, in this video we want to see how we can answer this question it's about the uh, weight and energy so the question is figure bill shows a box that is dragged by a force of uh, 50 newtons by a string at an angle of uh, 30 degrees to the horizontal line so this is the diagram so I'll be asked to mention two forces acting on the box two forces acting on the box China we should calculate the vertical component of the force so the ambient uh, this is our box here is being dragged going that way Telegism to me, uh, Mokuza Willy Bala, Mokanka Willy Bala, Yoti Edibe Terra, Dem Wimboga. It may be producing sound. It may be producing sound. Sound in Wubera, Chifogaja, uh, interaction between the ground and the Wilba over the box. So that kind of force that exists here. In the image of the frictional force. Frictional force. The tiger is running out. So, above, force we amber, the friction. Yes, we the gravitation. Gravitation is a force which pulls an object downwards here. The head. So, I'm going to remember the gravitation force, gravitation force, mass of friction force. I'm going to be able to go to the number of the normal force. Yeah, I'm going to be able to go to the Those are the two forces. I want to be able to go Question number B. Uh, you need to understand this. I'm going to be able to go to the formula which we use when calculating energy we may measure the work done is equal to force multiplied by distance for the the distance value there is no work done and let's say you are pushing a wall you are here pushing a wall Something like this. If the wall is not moving, there is no work done. This part is that you are sweating. Come on, come on, soon here. If it's just millimeters, there is a work done because of this distance here. So to find work done, the matter force many move and apply, multiplied by distance which has been covered, moving that object. Above distance, and then we are talking about the horizontal distance. Ahead. So, this question here, you remember that the, uh, the box was pulled by a force which was acting at an angle. Let's think of this and uh, force you say made up by. I think of this the whole force there. If you were seeing a straight line. But that force is at an angle. So you need to uh, You need to understand this. The calendar triangle, I think, which is a right angle triangle here. Now major. The one that just right angle triangle. So we have angle thirty degrees there. And we have 50 newtons there. So we have x axis and we have uh, y axis. So this is y, this is x. For you, the minimal is vertical. For more, you, the minimal is horizontal. So to find the x, this is right angle triangle. Then we will gonna apply so at all. So, ka, so at all. So we'll use x 
uh, which difference to angle of theta they will exit our adjacent this one is our hypotenuse so to find x we're gonna use a cosine so depending on cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse so cos our theta that's 30 degrees is equal to adjacent it's x divided by um, our hypotenuse which is 50. so to find the x we're gonna multiply both sides by 50 we also did them and 50. so this one this one will cancel remaining with the, our x as a 50 degree multiplied i mean 50 multiplied by cos 30 degrees so cos 30 that's 0 0.8 Six six zero, and if you multiply this one, as I go by seventy forty three point three something, the uh, to, to, to one decimal place single color uh, for the three. You see, the way this is our force in horizontal. Pumwe in y, the way what we're gonna do gonna use a sign to focus y along opposite theta and this is our hypotenuse so this is our sign theta is equal to um then they got from sign theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so sign our theta is 30 degrees is equal to opposite that's why divided by um, hypotenuse, which is a 50. So we're gonna multiply by 50 both sides. So what will happen there? 50, 50 will cancel. Remaining with y is equal to 50 multiplied by sine of theta the 0 0.5, which is a half. And the half of 50 is 25. So we have y is equal to uh, 25. So this is a component of a force in vertical axis. Kavena in Y. For my 43 neurons is the force in the uh, horizontal axis. So according to the question here, uh, answer in the uh, y into 25. Y twenty five. If we got a good sign, I'm going to carry distance. After putting this one at this angle, uh, let's say for 10 meters, they will be going to component. If it is in Y, then Y component, they will be in the distance. If it is in X, they are going to X component. So, according to the question, our answer is. 25 neurons. I wonder what is a take. And mind you, if you have enjoyed the video, also I want to subscribe to YouTube channel as well as liking my Facebook page, your new online classes now. And if you have questions in different subjects, my WhatsApp number that's uh, 0882435562. Mutambi Hala. But we uh, are going to follow some terms and conditions. Uh, so that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I wish you all the best.